Hello, and welcome to my new player's Jetland build guide. So you just unlocked your Jetland because it was the fattest ship you could find, and you want to take advantage of that. So I'm going to show you two builds and some tips and tricks along the way. When you first unlock the Jetland, this will be the style of build you'll be going for, the Jumpland. At unlock, you will only have access to vulture missiles and anti-missile lasers for your secondary and perimeter modules. Here, I take torpedoes and the tractor beam, but they shouldn't impact the build's playstyle very much. I also take some special officer briefings. These will greatly help you in a fight, but they aren't strictly necessary for the build to work. For most to least important, I take Retaliator, Get My Good Side, Slow and Steady, and Weapons 101. You can find Retaliator in the Jutland tree, Get My Good Side in the Machias tree, and Slow and Steady in the Chernobog tree. Upon spawning, your first priority will be to locate an enemy tactical cruiser or artillery cruiser to take out. If you can't locate them, they will usually be behind destroyers and dreads. Use the position of the enemy team to judge their likely location. Once located, navigate to a position where your warp jump will put you right behind to or next to your target. Jumping through walls is always recommended, as this will serve to surprise your target, giving them less time to raise their shields. You can see here that I have located an enemy tactical cruiser on my minimap. Your warp jump will move your ship about half of the minimap's length forward, so here I know I will warp behind my target. You can see that after I initiate my warp, I activate thrusters to turn my ship. This does not affect warp direction, as your landing point is decided at the moment of the module's activation based on the orientation of your ship at the time. I turn my ship so that when I land, my side will be facing the target. This is important if I want to be able to use my broadsides. Here, I was not able to use my broadside, as my target was below me, but I was still able to take them out. After you destroy your target, or decide that you won't be able to, you will want to warp out, usually back in the direction you came from, and most likely it will be towards your team. Here, you can see that I wait for my energy to replenish before initiating warp. This is important if I want to be able to raise my shields when I land, as you will usually be landing in the middle of the enemy team. In this example, I was able to make perfect use of my broadsides, and then warp out all in one fell swoop. Sometimes, you will find yourself in such a good position that you will not want to warp out, such as in this example. Generally, if you can get two kills, even if it means dying, you should. Normally, your broadsides will not hit a corvette. But here, he made the mistake of getting too close. In these situations, you can make short work of vets. In my opinion, this is the best all-around Jutland build, which comes with the added bonus of being able to use it immediately upon unlocking the ship. Smart use of these tactics will serve to get you many kills on important targets, almost always resulting in a pretty decent score in a one battle.